We all know how many images and videos are captured every day around the world. These videos have to be stored, they have to be compressed and transferred, they need to be processed. There's all kinds of uh, algorithms that are used. So I want to focus just on one type of algorithm, and again, that is for compression. So we're going to take a matrix A, it'll be M by N, and each element in the matrix is going to represent a single pixel of the image. And each pixel will be a number between 0 and 1 representing the grayscale. So 0 would be completely white, 1 could be completely black, and then any grayscale value in between. If we're to do this in color, we would actually need three matrices, one for say red, green, and blue values. But So we'll do this in a grayscale context just to keep things a little bit simpler. So M times N, that's the total number of pixels in the image. So we're going to take an image of the ceiling of Bath Cathedral in, in England. You'll see it here. The original image is 768 by 1024. And that, again, gives you the total number of pixels. If we do a singular value decomposition on that image, on that 768 by 1024 image, we get the U, the sigma, and the V. And we want to think about how we could reconstruct that image using less information that's, than what's contained in the original image. So we already hinted at how this can be done in the previous video by using singular value decomposition and only keeping those modes for which the singular values are, are large, large enough to warrant being retained. In this case, the U is M by M, the sigma is M by N, it's always the same size as the original A, and V is N by N, so at U and V are square. We're gonna choose a, a number capital K, something less than M, so M is the number of pixels along the vertical, and we're going to choose a number capital K that is less than M, and that's going to be how much data is being reduced. If we think of the SVD in terms of the matrix approach here, the U will be M by K, sigma will be K by K, and V will be N by K. In the vector form that we had last time, we could also think of this in the same way as capital K being the total number of terms that we're adding up in order to reconstruct the original A matrix. So I'm just going to show you the results for different K. I did this in Mathematica. It's very straightforward to do. You do the SVD, you choose the number of modes that you want, and then you can reconstruct the A, and this is what you get. On this first example, this is for K is equal to 100 and you compare that to 768. So this is a significant data reduction, and it's in both directions. So it's more of a data reduction than from just 768 to 100. It's the total number of pixels being reduced down now to 100 uh, by 100. And you can see the image, if you compare it back to the, the original image, it's quite close. It's a little grainy. We've lost a little bit of detail, but it's still a very good quote unquote approximation of or reconstruction of the original image. If we go down to 50, you can see you lose even more detail, increasingly grainy, but all the features are still recognizable. Here's 25, here's 10, and just for fun, let's try one. So this is literally one singular value, one left singular vector, and one right singular vector being used to reconstruct the original image which had millions of pixels. And while this obviously doesn't bear much resemblance to the original image, say you simply wanted to quantify the geometries and sizes of these segments of the ceiling. Just one mode is actually sufficient to do that. You don't need the extra detail that's contained in those additional modes. But in any case, you can choose the level of accuracy in the reconstruction. Obviously, the more faithful the reconstruction, the more modes, the higher K you need, and the more data that needs to be stored in order to do that reconstruction. So as you can see, in order to do that reconstruction, even just a K of 100 is relatively faithful to the original image. And you can reduce it further depending on, again, how much detail and information you want to retain relative to how much 
data you are willing to store.